Welcome to another Standog video. This time it's all about the Pattern Trigger Editor. I will show you some tips and tricks to get the most out of it. I made a one bar pattern. It's fairly short, but it's good to show you the basic principles. As you see, we have the same length here as in the 16 steps here. In the beginning of the sequence, we have a small dot. This dot marks the beginning of the pattern and we also have an end. You can simply move them around and let's play it back. Put it back here. If you use your right mouse button, you can delete a part of the sequence. As you can see, we have a point here that starts the sequence, but we don't have a point here. So this means that no new sequence starts, it's still the old one. If you want to restart the sequence, simply do a double click. And if you want to start a new sequence, simply draw it in here. So when we have more than just one bar and we draw a new sequence, we can simply wait until we get there. Or we can do a right click up here in the timeline. A click. We can also use the bigger editor. And you can zoom in if you need more control. You can simply move around here. So let's get back to one bar. There's other stuff we can do. For example, we can do a live recording. Click on record here and start to move your mouse around here. Or you can also use your keys. With the keys 1 to 9, you can start a record or play a melody. So far, we always worked with the pattern, but you can also turn the pattern off. This is useful when you want to write own melodies simply in the pattern trigger editor. To do this, you click here and say set pattern to off. Clear this and then we draw a simple melody, something like this. Okay, another thing. We got a special mode for you, which is especially interesting for drum works or if you want to work with a sampler. Click here on Source. As you see, usually we use scale notes, chord notes, full chords. But now we use chromatic C. Chromatic C always starts at the C, no matter which scale and root you use here. And you see, there's the drum kit. This one always triggers the kick. Alright, thanks for watching, see you next time.